Hey, little boo chickens, you little home studio kids. Um, this is a video to kind of help you out with the logistics of working from home and you're gonna make a mess. And you're like, how do I clean up this mess? So, um, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna still need your towel and your apron and the whole bits. And say you throw on the wheel and you make a sloppy, 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 sloppy mess like a deal. Oh my gosh, what do I do? So what you're gonna need, and if you still need these things, you can come get them from me um, just because, like I said, we're figuring this out as we go. Um, what you're gonna need to do with this clay, first thing is off first, cut it off the wheel. And then what I've been telling people is squeeze it in your hands <laughs> into kind of like a coil. And it could be at any state of sloppiness, you know, but try to make yourself an archway or I call it a rainbow. <laughs> I call this the poop rainbow or the poop arch. An arch is a very strong structure, it can hold its shape really well. So you're gonna make something that looks like this. And then you're gonna set it aside. You can set it on the side of your wheel. You could go set it on a wearboard. board. Um, but just set it aside and let it dry for, um, depending on how wet it is and how dry your space is, um, it could be anywhere from like you know, 30 minutes to a um, couple hours. So not really sure. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of clean my wheel. And I gave you guys all a bat to throw on top of. This is helpful if you throw something wide, you know, you can pop it off with your needle tool and save it. So that's what that's for. What you're gonna need to get is a bucket, a bucket of water. And I got the big sponges in here um, that are super helpful. And I filled it up about halfway with water. And this is what you're gonna be washing your hands in. And you could even take your splash pan, it's kind of like your sink, your studio sink at home. You know, I can dump my little water crud in there and just give it like a light, light wash. You know, we don't need to make this thing sparkle unless you feel the need to. So that's how I'm gonna get one side of the splash pan kind of dumped out. Um, eventually this bucket water, what you can do is let it kind of settle, let the clay settle down to the bottom. And then you can pour off the, the clean water off the top, like into some grass or down, you know, it can go down the sewer, but I wouldn't put it down the sink. Um, and then here I can wash my tools and the whole bit. Meanwhile, my little clay is drying. Um, here's my bucket water. If this is really sloppy, you can dump this in here and wash out your bucket. You'll have some nice clean water when you need it. All right, so we're gonna let this dry a minute and we're gonna fast forward a bit. A few moments later. All right, the poop rainbow is here. And you know what? I might have left it out there too long. It's pretty dry. So the outside is pretty stiff. I'm just, I don't know if you can tell. It's not shiny and wet looking anymore. Um, I can pick it up and hold it like a telephone. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do now is on a dry wheel head, I'm gonna start to wedge it. But the thing is, the outside is, the outside's dry, but the inside is wet. So you're gonna have to do some wedging. Now, if you're getting too sticky on your wheel head, you can put a chunk of wood on top and wedge it. Um, this is not great, but you get the idea here. Um, if you want to get one of these big wear boards, um, just let me know and I'll set some out. You can come grab one. I should have probably given you one of these in the first place, but like I said, we're figuring it out as we go. This 
on the floor on some concrete, probably too. It would work great actually. We're just on any table. And yeah, give it a good, you know, five or 10 minutes or so of wedging. Not even that. I've only been doing this maybe like two minutes or less. And look at this. It's ready to go. Um, something that I thought about as I was watching the last little segment of this video is um, what to do with the sludge in the bottom of this bucket. So what you can do is pour the good water off and then pour the sludgy stuff just in a garbage bag, you know, or just in the trash can. You know, it can go in a garbage bag and dry out in the, in, um, in the trash and it'll just turn to like crusty dry clay. Okay. There you have it, folks. The poop rainbow.